What's going on everybody? It's Mike. It's Throwback Thursday here and we are going to connect a 2011 Thunderbolt display to a new MacBook and for good measure we're going to see if it works with the Blackmagic eGPU. Let's get started. The Blackmagic eGPU comes with a steep price tag of $699. The eGPU is outfitted with a Radeon Pro 580 graphics card and comes plug and play with all Macs running OS 10.13.4 and newer. It has two Thunderbolt 3 connections, both of which are capable of delivering 40 gigabit transfer speeds. There's also four USB 3 connections, one HDMI 2.0. Finally, the unit is capable of delivering 85 watts of power via the supplied USB-C cable. While researching the Blackmagic eGPU, a thought came to mind was, would I be able to take my 2011 Thunderbolt display, connect it to my Mac via Thunderbolt 3 connector to get it to work? While the display is discontinued by Apple, it still can be found refurbished for in the neighborhood of $250 to $500, depending on which size display you're looking for. Additionally, you'll need a way to convert the Thunderbolt 2 signal coming from your display into Thunderbolt 3 going into your Mac. While I've had good luck using Apple branded adapters, you might want to consider a lower cost alternative since the adapter in question is $49.95 at the Apple Store or $45 from Amazon. I'll put links, a few different options in the comments below. First time setup is a breeze and can be finished in less than a minute. Unwrap the adapter, take the Thunderbolt 2 connection, insert it into the adapter, and plug the back into your eGPU. Power it on, and you'll get a visual indication when the eGPU is connected. Next up, we'll talk about everyone's favorite topic, benchmarks and performance. We ran each of our tests with two different Macs, one being a 2017 quad-core 15-inch, and the second being a 2018 quad-core 13-inch. I was very curious whether or not connecting the Thunderbolt 2 monitor via Thunderbolt 3 adapter would introduce some performance delays when connected to my Mac or the eGPU. Based on the data collected and the testing performed, I could say that my Mac and the Thunderbolt 2 display are functioning exactly as expected. That said, I am somewhat surprised after reviewing the Geekbench scores from the 2018 MacBook Pro. Comparing the score of the 2018 MacBook Pro, both before and after 10.13.6, there appears to be worse performance on the integrated graphics card. I, I don't know if it's completely feasible to retest this scenario given that the availability of trying to find a Mac with the, with the original release version of software. For our next set of tests, I wanted to see how well Adobe Lightroom would perform with the external GPU. The goal of my testing was to validate the performance when modifying images in the Adobe Lightroom catalog. I configured the test catalog with 1900 images and it was stored on an external SSD drive connected directly to the GPU. To my disappointment, I learned that Adobe Lightroom, Classic, and CC are not optimized to take advantage of an external GPU. So let's talk about who this is for. So if you're someone who appreciates design, People who aren't cost sensitive, right? You're dropping $699 for an eGPU. You need the discretion of a ultra quiet design. Uh, you might be able to hear it now, but it's actually spinning up as we're recording. Who should pass on this? People who don't like the flexibility, having an all integrated solution, right? People who want to upgrade their own hardware on their own terms. Uh, people who want to be able to get the latest performance by simply swapping out a card. Um, you hear that how loud it is it might be time to end the video now uh, so I want to thanks for watching uh, go ahead and give a thumbs up and if you like the video drop any questions below in the comments and hit subscribe to get new content thanks very much